Welcome to my film review of Pokemon T Detective, or is it Pikachu Detective? Yes, Pikachu the Pokemon Detective, if you like. So, um, not exactly the kind of movie that I thought would be up my street, not the kind of movie that I thought would be, would be my cup of tea, not going to lie. Um, never a fan of Pokemon. I think maybe when I was a kid it was still... It was just emerging, I'm not sure, but I know that I was never interested in it. But I do remember Pikachu. It feels like I've, you know, he was around when I was a kid. But like I say, never something I was interested in. So, did I enjoy this movie? Well, the crazy thing is, I actually did. I did really enjoy this movie. And to be honest, I saw the trailer and I thought the trailer made it look funny. I thought, oh, it looks like a funny movie. And, and it was, yeah, it was decent, it was entertaining. And, um, yeah, I was, I enjoyed it. So, out of 10, I would probably give it, it's a solid 7, but I'd maybe be a bit more generous to go 7, 2, 7, 3. What am I going to sit on? I'm probably going to say 7, 3. 7, 7 7.3 out of 10. And um, the advert, if you've seen the trailer, I, I saw the trailer quite a long time ago, so it didn't give too much away about the storyline. It just kind of introduced the fact that, you know, Pikachu was a detective and he seemed like he was quite a funny character so in regards to Pikachu I really liked him because his character was quite cute I've got to be honest you know um, there was some moments where you know he was just being really quite cute and also when he wasn't trying to be cute I really liked the character's voice it was actually uh, Ryan Reynolds who did his voice and I think he, he brought just the right amount of attitude and likability to the voice. So Pikachu is a character that you very much like, and everybody else is plays plays a supporting role pretty well as well. So there are additional characters that come into play, which you'll see when you see the movie. And yeah, they all do a they all do a decent part, a good supporting cast. And Pikachu, definitely the star of the show, uh, very likable. So, um, who's this movie for, would be the question that you might be asking, because from my point of view, I would definitely say it's a kid's movie, but equally, I'm not a kid, I was never into Pokemon, but I do love movies, and I enjoyed this. I'm not so sure maybe an older generation going and watching it on their own would get too many kicks out of it. I often think to myself, like, you know, I've got, I've got like a... I've got like a niece who's about 11, I've got parents, you know, who are kind of pensioner age, so, and there's me kind of in the middle. So, for the kids, I would suggest the kids would definitely like this, maybe even the really young kids, there was definitely a young audience in the cinema today, and when I say young, maybe like five-year-olds, you know, there's a few little cutesy bits that had them giggling. Um, my niece would probably think it was okay. I think like you'd, you'd either have to be into Pokemon or a big m fan of movies to really enjoy this as a kid. I don't think like, because my, my niece isn't massively into all movies, some movies she gets a bit bored with, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for her, but anybody that's into Pokemon is definitely going to get a lot of kicks out of this. It, 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 in, it introduces you know various different characters which maybe if you're into pokemon you know these characters so you get a bit of a kick from seeing them now on that note is it important to know anything about pokemon to still enjoy this movie and you don't have to know a thing obviously i don't know anything except i had heard of pikachu and i kind of seen a few bits that i was familiar with balls and stuff like that but it doesn't matter because what the movie does it very cleverly uh, well, not cleverly, it just blatantly explains the crack with Pokemon. So very early on in the movie, you get introduced to the Pokemon, and there's, there's more or less a literal video explanation explaining for the novices that might not know anything about Pokemon, explaining exactly what the crack with Pokemon is. So very early on, you get all the information that you possibly need, as to the background of Pokemon and the world. And then it just moves straight on into the plot. And um, the plot was very enjoyable. Like I say, it's detective. So if you're the kind of person that likes detective type movies, Sherlock Holmes, Watson, that kind of stuff, I don't really watch a great deal of TV series like that. But if you like a detective kind of a movie, then you're probably gonna like this. It doesn't matter the fact that it's got some weird, cutesy, childish kind of characters in. Um, 
you know, it's kind of a movie based on detective work and such like, and uh, relationships. And it was it was good, you know. It was good. I think you like it. So um, kids that like Pokemon, uh, just really young kids in general, I think are going to like this. Um, people my age, again, I think you have to be a big movie lover. If you're the kind of person that only goes to the movies for the blockbusters, like, you know, Avengers and stuff like that, and the real big movies, you can probably give this one a miss, to be perfectly honest. But if, like me, you love your movies, I've got the Cineworld Pass, so I can go and see as many as I want, definitely go and give this a watch. It's definitely worth seeing at the cinema, definitely enjoyable enough to work to be worth, you know, going to the cinema to see it. And for the elder generation, shall we say, um, I definitely wouldn't rush out to see this at the cinema unless unless you've seen everything else that there is out of the cinema and you think, I really want to go to the cinema and see something else. I think realistically, although I'm giving this a 7.3 out of 10, it's not a must-see at the cinema for everybody. You know, I've, I've tried to explain who this would and wouldn't be for from a cinema point of view, and I hope that helps you understand whether this is worth you spending your time and money going to the cinema to see. But if you can see it on the cheap and you've got and you're wanting something to watch, there's a lot of good stuff out at the moment, that's my only concern, there's a hell of a lot of good stuff out at the moment, so, you know, choose wisely, I would probably even, if I had to, if I had to choose with hindsight of seeing the Avengers Endgame again, even though I've seen it twice, and, and Pokemon at the cinema, and if I only had one movie to go and see, I'd actually go and see the Avengers Endgame for a third time, I know that might sound crazy, but I'd quite happily just catch Pokemon um, when it comes out, on uh, at Christmas time, watch it with the kids, sort of thing. Um, but nevertheless, it is still worth going to see at the cinema for the aforementioned categories of people. So um, I hope that cover helps who this movie is for. And whether or not you're a Pokemon fan or not doesn't necessarily matter if you think this movie might be your cup of tea. If you love going to the movies and you want to see everything that's out at the moment, there's about five or six good movies out right now that I'm trying to get ticked off and, and this was one that I'm pleased I saw it was very decent very enjoyable it wasn't on too long about an hour and 40 minutes so it goes by quick enough um, so yeah it was a success it was a decent film now in terms of um, is there anything at the end just briefly there was additional artwork should we say at the at the close of the movie which made me think oh maybe there's going to be an extra clip at the end but it doesn't it just ends with black credits coming up the screen so there's nothing necessarily to hang around for at the end unless you enjoy watching that animated sequence at the end so no need to, to worry about hanging around i think it's an okay for a popcorn muncher it was it was noisy enough at times and uh, in terms of its humour, actually, just want to cover funniness. It wasn't laugh out loud funny. Like the trailer made it very much seem like a comedy, which it was. It was supposed to be funny, so it was kind of a comedy. But like Long Shot had me laughing my ass off all the way through. Long Shot was amazing. This, although I enjoyed it, there was only maybe once, maybe twice, where I actually laughed out loud, uh, and one in particular moment is hilarious i'll give you a clue it's it's to do with a match okay so that's not a spoiler but when that scene happens see whether you enjoyed that as much as me i, I it cracks me up just thinking about it now that was really funny so like i say there was a, a few moments that were real laugh out loud hilarious uh plenty of stuff that was just smile and chuckle to yourself <laughs> yes that's quite funny you know and uh lots of cuteness from pikachu to be fair that was quite quite adorable really to be perfectly honest so there's a lot to like about this movie and the storyline was decent enough as well and because it's got all these characters and all these action sequences it was worth seeing at the cinema in that regard as well although like i say if you have to choose between avengers endgame and pokemon it's avengers endgame all day long while it's still out at the cinema go and see it again so i hope that helps you understand whether or not going and seeing pokemon pikachu detective is worthwhile for you i enjoyed it um, but with everything that's out right now, it wouldn't be top of my list of movies to go and see, but I did want to tick it off. Glad I did. Decent movie. Let me know whether you enjoyed it as much as I did. Are you a Pokemon fan? Did you have to be? That's the question. So thanks for listening to this film review. Check out the next one. Lots out at the moment. Lots of good stuff to see. And we will see you on the next review. Thank you. Goodbye.